right, here we go! What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Kel Preston, where I help you escape away to who you're meant to be through the law of attraction and different subtopics. In today's video, I'm really excited. It's something that I have used a lot, but I've kind of developed my own technique with, which I like to call it Appreciation 10. It is something that I have kind of learned through my mentors. Um, but I've just basically learned through mentors what appreciation is and how to utilize it. I created myself the Appreciation 10, which is super exciting. But if you want to just hop to the technique or you're just coming back to it, go to this timestamp. But if you want to hear my story and hear a little bit more about the like premise behind it, then continue to watch this part. I'm just going to be straight up honest. The past week, I have been in the depths of my despair, I will say, which sounds dramatic. Um, but I just got back to America about three weeks ago. It's been a rough transition, but essentially the past week, and it's why I haven't uploaded on YouTube or other social medias that much, I was just in like the Great Depression of Kel again. Um, but I say the depths of my despair, which sound dramatic, but it was and it isn't anymore, which is great. But um, essentially, I just have a lot of bills. Like I've gained a ton of bills and I became, you know, I fell off the wagon. I came a little bit unmotivated. I got really depressed, had a lot of anxiety. A lot of stuff was happening and I wasn't utilizing the things that I teach to other people and the things that I've learned from mentors because in Japan, I was comfortable. It was like six months of me being basically a monk and essentially like with what I was doing. Um, but all the teachings that I was uh, learning and teaching to other people, um, it was great. I was comfortable. But when the actual negativity and the contrast started coming in, coming back into America, it's great because this is, if I want to become a life coach, this is, I need to experience what it is to be down in the depths of depression and stuff to help others get out of it. And like the different techniques that I use, I always, anything I teach, I use on myself just because you can't, for example, you can't be a soccer coach and sit here and watch how to be a soccer coach and then coach someone to do it later. It's just, you need to experience it. So basically that is what had happened the past week and why I haven't uploaded them in a great better mood now, feeling so good. Um, but essentially what appreciation is uh, versus gratitude. Let's talk about that. So appreciation versus gratitude. Let's start off with gratitude though. Gratitude is actually slight negative energy. It's not negative energy per se, but there is still resistance behind it. So with gratitude, essentially you are expressing an emotion that is like built up past energy of efforts that you have tried to put into something. And when you have achieved it, that is when you feel grateful for it. So there was a lot of action that had to happen. There was a lot of resistance through like, for example, I worked my ass off to get where I wanna be and I'm grateful for it and I've come to this company, I own my own company or whatever the goal was that a person had as versus appreciation is more in line with the emotion of like love or inner peace or happiness. There's no um, resistance with appreciation. And so it's better, to, I'm not saying you can't be grateful for something, but it's better for us to utilize appreciation. And I really, really am going to make a video very soon about the scale of consciousness because I will be using it in almost every video. And uh, so I can't really talk about that today, but honestly, there is a scale of consciousness of courage, which is level 200 and anything below that is negative energy. And I think love is the third highest. I think peace comes after that and then enlightenment comes after that. And love is on the same frequency vibration as appreciation. So when we're using appreciation, it can rise our emotional guidance a lot quicker and a lot faster versus trying to use gratitude. I'm not saying gratitude doesn't work, but gratitude it just still has that slight resistance behind it. So essentially what I use is I like to use the emotional guidance skill, which I'm going to be creating in a different video. But instead, if you're in an immediate need, like I kind of was, where you're just like in the depths of your despair, which let's talk about shame, which is the lowest level of energy, it's level 20, that is very close to suicide. Um, there's different versions of shame that you can have, but uh, when you're in the depths of below, it, it's difficult to get out of it and being able to calibrate your emotions and get up to a positive vibration is the goal in mind. But when you're in need of something immediately, um, it's just great to express appreciation. So let's just get down to the technique. If I have anything else that I wanna talk about, I'll talk about it after the technique. So this is called Appreciation 10. And why I call it Appreciation 10 is because 
If you're in an immediate need of getting out of an anxiety situation, a depressed situation, um, any negative energy that you are feeling in the moment, this can be useful. Um, so it's taking a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can even give different affirmations such as, I breathe in um, calmness, I breathe out fear, I breathe in positive energy, I breathe out negative energy, I breathe in abundance, I breathe out lack of. You can say something, you don't have to, but it's just taking a couple of deep breaths to calm yourself down scientifically, biolo biologically with our bodies doing that really, really can calm down any type of anxiety that you're feeling in the moment um, just to calm your body down. And then I want you to put out your hands and make a 10 like this, 10 fingers. And now there's two different ways that you can do this. You can either do it with your environment, which is something that I usually do. So I love to do it when I first wake up and when I'm going to sleep. Um, or you can just do it in general, naming off things that you're appreciative for in your life. And the goal behind this is to really believe it and to really feel it though. When you really can reflect, sometimes you might watch a documentary or something, but when you... I'm sorry, let, let me give context to that. Sometimes when you're watching a documentary, let's say of kids in Africa that are going hungry, it really spikes that appreciation for you and to be like, wow, what if that was me every day? I'm really appreciative to have food. And it's that feeling that you're really going to want to calibrate and have for every single thing that you're going to name off and be appreciative for. So we're going to do this exercise together. Um, this is the um, point where I probably put at the beginning of the video where we're going to just hop right into it. So I want you to put your fingers out. I'm going to name off th 10 things that I'm appreciative for. If you want to pause the video on, pause the video and put on some relaxing music, or you just want to do this with me after the fact of doing it, or you want to do it with me, that's fine. But I'm going to look around my environment and I'm going to first say that I am appreciative for my bed and it feels so good. Like, think about it. You could just have a hard wooden floor to, you know, sleep on. I'm very appreciative to have something comfortable to sleep on. I'm appreciative to have hot water. I'm so appreciative to have hot water. There was a time during the beginning of COVID, I actually didn't have hot water for three weeks. Imagine that because my apartment's hot water heater busted. Yeah, think about that. So I'm highly appreciative for that. I'm highly appreciative of electricity to have that, to think of all of the fantastic creative projects I get to work on because of it. Um, but again, that produces the heater, or the air conditioner. I'm appreciative to have electricity. So appreciative for that. I'm appreciative to have my sister. She's amazing, amazing human being. She's so strong-willed. She cares about the people that she truly loves in her life and she's willing to give the shirt off her back for almost anyone. So appreciative for my sister. Now, I will say you do not need to name off why, but it's always good to give a why that you're appreciative of something. Um, I'm appreciative to have food. I'm so appreciative to have food. And you see the good energy building up and you just start feeling better. Um, it's what keeps my autoimmune deficiencies at bay. I'm very appreciative to have healthy food. It could be opposite to where I don't even have access to that, you know? So I'm appreciative for my car. I can't make the hand gesture to put down the other finger, but here, we'll do it like this. I'm appreciative of my car. I just bought a brand new car and it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. You know, I could have no transportation coming back to America. I'm so appreciative to have my car. I'm appreciative to have a gym membership. Gosh, there's points when I am at the gym and I'll just stare and look at all the beautiful people in there. And I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking just about humanity in general. It's just great to see people working out and to be taking care of our bodies and for health reasons. I'm very appreciative to have a gym. Um, let's look around the room more. I am appreciative. And even if you think they're minuscule, they're not. I'm appreciative to have shoes. <laughs> like, I'm so appreciative to have shoes. I could be walking around without them with bare feet and I could be stubbing my foot and hurting myself. I'm very appreciative to have food. Or I'm sorry, shoes. Um, I'm appreciative to have my air purifier. Um, my sister has a dog, so I'm allergic to dogs and that's uh, something I'm very appreciative to have. Uh, really, really helped out after I got it with my allergies and stuff. And lastly, um, I'm just appreciative to have good health. 
like my body is in such great health. I have, as you can see from a video last week, maybe I showed, I'm pretty sure I showed you, I've healed my eczema again, guys. Like it just takes really believing in yourself and really putting forth the effort. Um, so I'm very appreciative to have a healthy body. So yeah, that's it. Like that's called appreciation 10. And when you do that, when you maybe first wake up, when you go to bed, or when you're just in a very stressed out situation, appreciation is the same, I feel it right now, it's the same energy of love. And when you can give appreciation, when you can have that same vibration, that is when you are connected to your inner being, your higher self. And that is when rendezvous, impulses, new great ideas, everything just happens because remember, just 10 seconds, 10 minutes of being connected to your higher self, your inner being is called enlightened action. Compared to two years of auto action of just forcing it can make the whole difference, I promise you. So the entire reason that we're utilizing law of attraction is to be connected to our higher self. That way, by law, like attracts like, we can attract into our life those things. It's not being focused upon what you want all the time that matters. It's being in that good feeling, positive emotion because nothing matters about our words. Words are irrelevant. It's the feelings that we feel that really allow law of attraction to come into our existence. I'm sorry, to give us what we want is what I'm trying to say. Um, because the universe does not look at things as good or bad as us humans do. The universe just looks at things as expansion. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and it's so interesting because the past week of being in the depths of my despair, I was giving a lot of things in my life that I didn't want. And the moment that I calibrate my emotional guidance system, the moment that I'm connected to my inner being, multiple manifestations that I did want started happening right and left. And it's just another, again, proof in the pudding for me of how much law of attraction is truly a thing and how appreciative I am to really consciously be aware of it and use it as a deliberate creator instead of creating by default. So yeah, use Appreciative 10. Let me know in the comments down below if you utilize it, how it worked out for you. Um, this isn't something that's going to automatically heal and take away your depression, anxiety, or any negative emotion that you're feeling for a long time is what I'm saying. It will immediately help you out, but it ultimately is up to you to keep this vibration going and to keep the good feeling feels going. Like, you know, uh, but it's really great to be using in the moment when you're having a down day or a down time or just in the moment. All right, I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.